This week on Outdoor Bound TV. It's all about walleyes as we travel to Manitoba, Canada with pro staffer Brian Bogdan of Wilkusko Falls Lodge. First, we talk techniques for flatline trolling midsummer walleyes with crankbaits. Then we head deep using bottom bouncer rigs targeting the holy grail of walleye fishing, that 30-inch trophy fish. What a fish. That's just fantastic. Here's a good fish. This is what it's all about. Outdoor Bound TV is brought to you by Mission by Matthews and Vortex Optics. This is my life. The Weekend Warrior. No more production lines or deadlines. This is why I work five days a week. I need speed, power, precision. I expect no less than the best. This is my best. This is my chance. This is my mission. Simple, efficient, powerful. Mission by Matthews. You are the first to rise. First to teach. To get your hands dirty and lend them. You're first to protect. As a hunter, being first is a big part of who you are. And we are first for you. The single most influential hunter's rights and conservation organization in the world. Join like your way of life depends on it. Big Bear Down is your one-stop shop for rifles, shotguns, crossbows, and more. Big Bear Down carries all the hunting gear and accessories you need. We also offer deer attractant and mineral to keep them coming back again and again. Stop in today to check out our huge selection while you pick up your Wisconsin hunting and fishing licenses. Big Bear Down is still your destination for quality hunting blinds, stands, and game trail cameras. Big Bear Down by our distributing at two convenient Wisconsin locations. Hi everyone, welcome to Outdoor Bound TV. I'm Kurt Walbeck. You know, walleye is a favorite species for many anglers of the Midwest to target. On this week's show, we head north to Manitoba, Canada, where pro staffer Brian Bogdan and I will take a look at some of the methods of targeting midsummer walleyes. Let's head out onto the waters of Wilkusko Lake right now. There's a fish. <laughs> you know, it's a good fish when they make him dance around the boat. <laughs> there we go. Nice oh, fish. Good fish. Thanks, Brian. Look at that. Just try to take this crank out. I'll show you a little bit about what we're using. I just want to show you this beautiful fish first. Is that just an incredible walleye or what? We're doing something a little bit different. We're trolling crankbaits today. And as you can see, it's kind of an overcast high sky and, and we've got a bit of a wind. We've got a little bit of chop. So Brian and I decided to throw some crankbaits out and uh, see if we could troll for some of these walleyes. And I'll tell you what, it's a good start to the day. Well, let me show you what I was using there. Now this is a relatively new bait. This is called a Maglip by Yakima Bait Company. And it's really got a heavy scoop on the front of this. And why we like to use it when we're trolling is this bait will reach depths up to 14 feet. 
The other thing that I found really neat about these baits is you can actually troll them up to four mile an hour and they won't fall out. So uh, I picked kind of a gold color with a little bit of blue here today. I think Brian's got a chrome with a little chartreuse and clown color on. So uh, we're gonna put these behind the boat on some flat lines and just see what we can do in terms of turning up some of these big walleyes here in Wacusco Lake. Saugers usually don't uh, bump the rod much. Okay. They just kind of come in with it. Like a log. Like Yakima across the mouth, T-bone. <laughs> Boy, I get Look at that. Well, you can see that bait got down. It's got some trash sitting on the weeds from the light grass. So you know, fishing 14, 13, 14 feet, you know it's going down that deep. Beautiful waller. On Mad Clown. Great bait. 18 feet this time, a little, a little deeper. <laughs> they love this thing. You know, this is my first time using one of these. Uh, I've guided up in places like Great Bear Lake, and what they're really known for is the flat fish, the big T55, the big T60s for giant lake trout. But this little version, basically what it is, is a little version of that big flat fish, and it sure works wonders on beautiful walleye. It sure does, beautiful fish. You know, we just saw some fish on the graph that were set up in about 19, 20 feet of water. So what we did is we grabbed the bottom bouncers quick and with the Yakima spinner rig on and just dropped it down to see if we could find these fish. And we found them. That's a master angler, probably a 19 incher. Holy, that's a big sauger. It sure looked like a walleye coming up, but see the spots on the uh, on the fins here? This is actually a sauger and a really nice sauger at that. There's no white on the tail either. You just yeah, have a little that. tiny shark there, that's about it. Beautiful sauger. We'll measure him up and see how big he is. 17 inches. A little bit of cabbage here. Nice little wallie. Got a little hook in him. There you go. What a neat little lure. Yeah, great color. And they produce walleye. No doubt about it. Look at that. Mount over gold. <laughs> you know, Brian, Mark just put one, put a fish in the boat. And I looked over and my rod was bent almost in half and just thumping. There we go. Nice, nice net. Thanks. Oh, he inhaled that. <laughs> yeah, he did. I don't even think I want to stick my finger in there. <laughs> nice. Look at that. Just another beautiful walleye here in Wacusco Lake, Wacusco Falls, Manitoba. I tell you what, there isn't a time that we don't make this trip that we get some beautiful, beautiful walleyes, northern pike, lake trout, you name it. It's all right here in northern Manitoba. <laughs> Incredible. Hope we found them out in the middle of the bay. Like it. I thought it was a mound of weeds. Oh, I there. thought it was. A, I wasn't going to say anything, <laughs> but I wasn't sure if you knew what you were talking I about. It was a mound of weeds. But they don't do big head bobs like no. that. Oh, oh man! Look at that. Thing. <laughs> that is a thick northern. <laughs> well, it wasn't the walleye we were looking for, but a nice fish nonetheless. That's a plump northern. Look right at there. that. Really nice and thick. Just another great fish here in northern Manitoba. You can see where he's got a little bit of a wound on the side from something, but what a beautiful northern pike. You know, that's the beauty 
of fishing in these places is you just never know what you're going to pull in. And yeah. The old Magda Lip three and a half from Yakima Bait <laughs> works on walleyes and northern pike. Absolutely. Great fish. <laughs> awesome fish. I'm going to let this guy get back in. Slinger. Oh, this is a slinger slinger. That's probably an important thing to mention is that, you know, the intent of what we wanted to do coming out is probably a little bit different than what we're doing today. But, you know, you really need to adapt to the uh, circumstances and adapt to the surroundings. And today we've got high skies, we've got wind, so we weren't able to do maybe some of the jigging that we wanted to do and so on. So you just adapt, you find the fish, and when you find them, you figure out a technique that you can work with mother nature on, right? Mm -hmm, absolutely. And it's working, we're putting fish on the boat, That's so. That's right. Hey, anytime that rod is bent, it's a good time. A little slinger. There you go. Well, you can see he came right up behind it and toasted it. I had a big northern come up and eat eat my mad clown, so I switched to the silver uh, with the chartreuse bill, and it's working too. How's yours feel? Find the way back here, yeah. Is it really? Look at that. These magna lips have really done the job today. Now these are the three and a half inch and we're using them because we're in about 15, 16 feet of water and these will normally run about 14 feet deep with these big lips on them. And you see we're both using them in another <laughs> Manitoba <laughs> gold. <laughs> yeah, double header. Pumping Stand down there. pretty good, yeah. Man, the boat, you let me know if you need a net man. Oh, I might get a fish here too. Okay, <laughs> I'll double. I'll stall it here. <laughs> oh man, this guy's got <laughs> Double header walleye on the Magla. Look at that. What another incredible day out here on Wakusco Lake. Brian, thanks a lot for taking us out. We had some really tough conditions. It's really windy, as you can probably tell. We had to change up our tactics today, but it didn't matter. We just uh, did something a little bit different than what we had planned to do, and that's the key, folks. Be flexible. <laughs> another great day. Absolutely. Now, don't go away. We'll be right back with more Outdoor Bound TV right after these messages. Great Awesome. Fish. Yeah. <laughs> Outdoor Bound TV is brought to you by Real Deal Mineral and HHA Sports. G2 Seeds. The results speak for themselves. Optimizer by HHA Sports. The Optimizer Kingpin marks the third generation of archery's number one selling single pin adjustable sight. On the range or in the field, start ruling your kingdom today with the Optimizer Kingpin. The Optimizer Speed Dial. Extend the range and accuracy of your crossbow. To the yard accuracy with a single reticle. Simply range, dial, and shoot. All Optimizer sight systems are made in the USA and carry a 100% lifetime guarantee. Ask for Optimizer at a dealer near you. One tool that is designed to master every job out there, the new line of heavy-duty Ram trucks and commercial vans. At Kobe Chrysler Center, we sell and service the full line of the hardest working, heaviest hauling trucks in industry, designed to keep you working. From light city minivans to heavy duty diesel trucks, we have a great selection and award winning service department to back it up. Offering complete upfit on cabin chassis to interiors and exteriors, you'll find convincing value and significant capabilities in all of our commercial vehicles. Welcome home to Kobe Chrysler.
Room Motors has been serving Central Wisconsin since 1947 and offers a full line of quality Kubota tractors, mowers, and RTVs. Let the knowledgeable staff at Rue Motors help you select the best Kubota RTV for you and your family. From weekend food plot maintenance to projects around your yard, you can count on Rue Motors for all your quality Kubota products at both convenient locations. Rue Motors, take the short drive up Highway 45 in Anigo and Burnhamwood. You know, when most walleye fishermen hear Manitoba, Canada, they usually assume those big greenbacks of Lake Winnipeg. Well, we're a few hours north of there, but today pro staffer Brian Bogdan and I are headed out onto the water, and we're gonna talk about some of those techniques to catch that 30-inch trophy fish. He's just green, touch of red, probably a low 20s. There's a fish. It looks like it might be a good one, Kurt. Yeah, he was, he's kind of pumping a little bit, Brian. Ah, nice 23, 24 incher. Well, you called that one pretty close, you know. It was funny, we went by and we saw a mark on the, on the locator and Brian said, oh, that's probably a 22, 23. And I even asked him again, I said, you sure? He said, yeah, it's a 22 or 23, and that's about what we've got. Yeah. A beautiful tramping lake walleye. Yeah. Okay, so this is a perfect example of how high quality management works. So this fish is just over 21 and a half inches, so it's 56 centimeters, and up here in Manitoba, we have high quality management in the Northwest region, which means any walleye over 55 centimeters must be released. Um, that just ensures, you know, our trophy fishery. So every big fish that gets caught goes back in the water and, and they just keep getting bigger. Unbelievable. You know, I just put this in over the side and <laughs> I've got a fish on already. You know, on most bodies of water, this would be a pretty good walleye. Now this is a 15 or 16 inch fish, but that's not what we're looking for today here in Manitoba. In fact, pro staff for Brian Bogdan and I have been talking for a couple years about doing a trophy walleye trip here in Manitoba. Now this one's gonna go home because we'll put it in the fry pan tonight. But what we're after today is a 30 inch or bigger fish. Now, of course, if you're a walleye fisherman, you probably say, sure, aren't we all after 30 inch or bigger fish? But one of the things you have to do if you wanna catch big walleyes, 30 inch or bigger walleyes, is two things. First of all, you have to fish where they live. Not every body of water holds 30 inch fish. The second thing is you need to rig a little bit differently when you're looking for that true trophy fish. So we're gonna be showing you a little bit about how we're rigging today and how we're gonna go after trophy walleyes here in Manitoba. Well, it looks like he's putting a little bend in the rod. A little bend. Oh, it's only, I don't know, 24 inch walleye. A guy who thinks he's got big, but he's not really big to our standards yet. There we go. Nice fish, Brian. Yeah, 23, 24. It's a nice representative, caught in the corner of the mouth. Barbless hooks, easy to come out. Now the first thing we're gonna do today is we're gonna put bottom bouncers on to cover a little bit of ground. Now that's a key when you're walleye fishing, you wanna use your electronics, you wanna cover some ground because the first thing you have to do to catch big fish 
is you have to find big fish. So we're gonna put the bottom bouncers on. Now I like to use braid on my bottom bouncers. I like a rod that's for bottom bouncing. And then on that, I hook a snell of about six feet of uh, monofilament, or in my case, I like to use fluorocarbon. And then on the end of the fluorocarbon, I just have a regular slow death hook, and there's two small glow beads. And that's all we're using today for these big trophy walleyes. Nice, long, big head shakes. Caught it on an outside turn. I'm gonna reel up and I'll give you a hand there, Brian. Looks like you've got a good one hooked. Mm, felt like it, no, he's got me worried. Ah. <laughs> well, it's funny because you say, ah, but I look down and I see a 26 inch fish and I get excited. Yeah. <laughs> I thought, yeah, it was a little better than I thought, but I thought he was gonna be a, I thought he was gonna be a stud. Caught in the tooth. No, 24. 24, 25. This one's got a little bit of shoulder to him. Okay. He's coming, there but go. I don't think he's he's figured out he's hooked yet. So when he does, he... Oh yeah, you're ways there. down. You're ways down. Nice wallet. Oh, awesome. Nice deep golden fish. He is beautiful <laughs> golden color. Incredible there fish. Now, I realize it may sound a little ridiculous when we say we're only fishing for trophy fish. Well, what do we mean by that? Well, here on Tramping Lake in northern Manitoba, they have some really high quality management and that produces some incredible walleyes. So what we're looking for today is that 30 inch or bigger fish. Now, what do I mean when I say we're, we're targeting only trophy fish? Every time you fish, you're always looking for a trophy fish. Well. We've passed over a lot of areas when we can see on our electronics that are holding a lot of walleyes. The problem is they're not the big walleyes. They're probably the 12 to 15 to 18 inch fish. What we do is we pass over those looking for those one or two single roaming fish, which are usually our 30 inch or bigger fish. Nice walleye. What I got here is I got a one and a half ounce bottom bouncer, just plain color six feet of uh, fluorocarbon, it's a slow death hook, and actually just putting a leech through the sucker of the leech, that's all I'm doing. Okay. Even the weights of bottom bouncers make a big difference. You know, the less weight of a bottom bouncer, the further back it's gonna have to get contact. And every time you're further back, that makes a different angle along the bottom, and that changes your presentation on what, what your actual bait looks like behind it. Oh yeah, this is a solid fish, Kurt. Okay. This is a good fish. I haven't even moved him since the hook set. He's still <laughs> going the other way. Is he really? And he does not like what he's got going on here, does he? <laughs> he's a little upset. He's a little bit. So we marked out about a 30 incher on the graph, so we'll see what he ends up showing up. Big red bar. And I'm seeing him on the graph right now. He's 20 feet down still, so. <laughs> and more as we and speak. And more, there he goes, right back down to the bottom. These are good, good solid head shakes. There he is. Oh, mama. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Another beautiful, beautiful Look fish. at the size of that one. Look at that fish. What a gorgeous walleye. <laughs> this is a heavy fish. This fish is over 10 as well, for sure. Incredible. You know, one of the things we always talk about is if you want to kill big bucks, you got to go where big bucks live. Well, if you want to catch big walleyes, you've got to go where the big walleyes live. And Absolutely. you definitely have them here they, in Manitoba. They are definitely here thicker, thicker than a lot of places, you know, which, you know, if you're only going for one fish that's over 30, this is one of the lakes to do it on, that's for sure. That's incredible fish. Wow. Let's get a measurement of them quick. Okay. And 30 and a half, big fish. What incredible fish. Golden, not the greenbacks either. These are all golden walleye. There she goes, just like that. Awesome. That is fun. That is fun on every level. If that doesn't get your heart pumping, then don't walleye fish, 30 inches. Outdoor Bound TV is brought to you by Brew Pub Pizza 
and Kalen's fishing baits. Brew Pub Pizza is specifically designed with the hungry in mind. It's big, it's bold, and it's outrageously delicious. Brew Pub Lots of Matza Pizza is made with your favorite premium meats and veggies topped with over a half pound of real Wisconsin mozzarella cheese. When you're looking for the ultimate pizza adventure, when you crave a really serious pizza that brings the great Brew Pub experience, this is the one. Pick it up today at your favorite local grocer. Brew Pub Lots of Matza Pizza, the ingredients for a great time. Jensen & Son Asphalt Paving and Maintenance, your number one source for professional paving and driveway sealing in North Central Wisconsin. Jensen & Son is a local, family-owned and operated business. We have all the resources to get the job done right. No project is too big or too small, and we strive to exceed your expectations on time, every time. For affordable pricing and high-quality workmanship, call us today for a free estimate. Jensen & Son Asphalt Paving and Maintenance, we top them all. Since 1957, Meyer Buildings has offered full design and project management for your farm, equestrian, commercial, and storage building needs. Our recreational building line specializes in the design and construction of affordable, remote area buildings for the outdoorsman. Bring your dreams to life with custom building solutions and Meyer Buildings. Whether it's a new vacation home, farm addition, or commercial project, our attention to detail is second to none. My name is Jeff Meyer from Meyer Recreational Buildings. Call us today for a better way to build. We handle your races, your jumps, and your trails. Isn't it time you give your daily driver the same love? Amsoil Signature Series Synthetic Motor Oil delivers 75% more engine protection against horsepower loss and wear than required by a leading industry standard. Amsoil also offers a full family of snowmobile lubricants, giving you above and beyond fortification for your weekday and weekend vehicles. Order direct online at qcamsoil.myamsoil.com. Outdoor Bound TV is brought to you by Amsoil Synthetic Lubricants and Mountain Dew. Oh, this one might be a good one. Oh, looks like he's pulling, Brian. Yeah, he's got decent head shakes and he's staying on the bottom. Is he? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Take him some line. <laughs> that he is. Oh, oh, there's a good fish. Oh, that's a oh really good there fish. we go. That's what we came here for. <laughs> yeah, there's a 30 incher. Heavy 32. Bright golden walleye. Look at the size of that thing. Right in the corner of the mouth. What a tank of a fish. <laughs> a that big. is incredible. Oh, man. <laughs> Folks, if you're interested in coming to northern Manitoba to catch walleyes like this, please give Brian and Alyssa a call. All their information is right on the bottom of the screen. And we hope that you'll join us again here next week when we'll bring you more great hunting and fishing action from around the Midwest, around the nation, and around the world, right here on Outdoor Bound TV. <laughs> what a fish. That is a beauty. Right on, eh? Right on. Folks, today we're fishing in northern Manitoba with pro staffer Brian. <laughs> thought you said we were looking for 30-inch fish. If you've watched the show in the past, in the past, not in the past. You're, you're talking centimeters, not inches. So I need a 75 centimeter walleye, eh? Yeah, yeah, the A makes all the difference. Let's go play some hockey. Mm -hmm.